Bum, bum, bum. Next up, I think I'm gonna do a window. I think I'm gonna do a window. I think I'm gonna do a window. A window, a window, a window. A window, a window. A window. All right. I'm really fucking with all of your energy Highly pursue, but I don't let it get to me They say the start of us might be the end of me I don't read minds, but I see Johnny and June and we walking <laughs> So I'll start with one of these little ones And one tip, my architect told me Right when we started plans She was like, windows are backed up This was a year ago, windows are backed up So make sure you order them early Like, be the first thing that you order is a window So that it can't come in in time I ordered mine from Home Depot because they were in stock Yeah, and I'll talk through it a little bit so here we go, window hole. First things first, window. This is the window. And the window has measurements, um, and it has rough openings, which has to do with the framing. So I hope that I bought the correct window and did the correct rough opening. Um, I'm gonna see if it fits first, and then I'll do the seal flashing. All right, this fits. You can see there, right there. And on that side, it's flat. I guess that's what you get. Hopefully there's no scratches. So I watch a lot of uh, window ceiling videos, and so the goal of flashing the window is to keep the water out on the outside. And so imagine putting the window on here with nothing besides this, right? If water comes down the tarp, it can get behind the flange of the window, which is like, the outside of the window here, right? We'll tape the flange and then put the taper on top um, and tape it and then so the water comes down and then it can't ever get in the house. On the sides, it's the same thing. Uh, we just wanna tape the sides um, so it becomes one full piece. This paper with the window become one solid piece. There's no holes. At the bottom, it's a little different. The seal here. tape the seal um, and then tape up some from the seal but we won't tape the bottom because if water does get behind it somehow uh, then it has a space to drain instead of draining inside of your wall that's what everyone says I think that makes a lot of sense because water is not gonna come up into it but it needs a place to drain so that's how we're gonna do it here's the uh, flashing tape bought it from Home Depot just window and door flashing it does have directions on here which is good This side's not sticky, but this side is. Now, since I cut these corners right here, we're gonna take a little bit and uh, cover it up. Might need some extra hands to help me do this part. Okay, I did a thing. Uh, I might have flashed all the windows while the camera was off. <laughs> uh, just the sills. I just kept going and one, two, three, four, ba boom, ba boom. And I did check to make sure that this window fit in the place. Now I actually do need to get some help with Kristen to put the windows in. Alrighty, Christy's about to come out here to do this window right here. And the goal is for her to hold it up, me check inside, um, see where we might need to shim it. Um, and then once we're comfortable with that, we're gonna take it out. I'm gonna put caulk on it on the edges. She's gonna hold it back in place. We're gonna level it, shim it, nail it. If we can do it in under five minutes, I will give first person who comments a free t-shirt. So comment, free t-shirt. Okay, actually, instead of doing the big one up here first, we're gonna go back to the back and do the small one. Okay, are you ready?
Do I try to nudge it up a little bit? I'm gonna push this up. Okay. Can you still hold it? Yeah. You got it? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna push it down a little. Okay. Looking like a house in here. Okay, that had to have been less than five. It was less than five. That means that I win. You knew I made twenty dollars. Me? No, the fans. Oh, okay. But you can get me twenty dollars. Okay. <laughs> Okay, the uh, rough opening's just a little bit too big, um, so I'm gonna put another two by four in there uh, at the top, so. I was a little bit afraid of that, uh, but you know, how it goes. Hey! Now that we've done that, the openings for these front windows are too big. I think I would put a little piece of plywood there um, so that I can hammer the top flange into something flat and not be uh, bent back. Good day, you little young heathens, old heathens, young Philistines. So, yesterday, over the past couple of days, I've been feeling sick again, um, like I had been a couple weeks ago, like literally the same feelings. Um, achy, tired, uh, dehydrated, but drinking a ton of water and drinks and stuff like that. Anyways, I think I might just have had heat exhaustion, heat exhaustion, uh, or sun sickness or something like that. And I still feel a little bit achy, tired, but yeah, I feel a little bit better and I'm gonna take it easy today. Um, but yesterday I just ran errands like I mentioned. I got this door, I got this sliding door. Um, I picked both those up from Home Depot. I had to rent a U-Haul. Um, and then I picked up some, uh, you can't see it, but more, more um, roofing material, shingles. Okay, but I did want to show you this. Those are just like all the bad news today. <laughs> Getting sick and uh, stuff like that, but all right. Are you ready for are you ready for the action? Bum, bum, bum. So that window was sitting here leaned against this and um, A couple of days ago. We had a huge like windstorm and it poured for like 30 minutes. Maybe but that was it one good news is that no water came into the house, which is awesome but, as you can tell, the window broke because it was leaning up, wind blew it over, smashed. The issue is that that particular window is not available at Home Depot anymore, which is super annoying. Um, and the other bad thing is that since I can't get the same window, I was going to put this window in, which looks a little crooked right now. I'm just noticing this window's a little crooked for some reason. Uh, this pane is like tilted. I made sure that it was level when I installed it, but anyway, so that's something else. Uh, I don't even know where I was. Oh, the window. I could move this window to match, to go up here, so all these windows would be the same, but I already installed the siding on that. So I decided to order two different windows for the front from Lowe's, um, same, it looks like the same style, but it's a different window. Hello there, it's Sunday night. <sighs> What's that, like eight o'clock? It's so bright out. Um, look, we got a front door in. <laughs> but uh, Chris and I are gonna do these windows, two of them. 
Um, and then I'll get the door in for tomorrow, so. Okay, these two windows are in. I uh, had to do some adjusting on the framing again. Had to reseal it. Um, and I'll need to shim the insides on the top because there's a little bit too big of a gap. So, still need to do that. Uh, but yeah, it's looking pretty good. Shout out Christy for helping. And I'm here to help. <laughs> Alrighty. Subscribe to the channel and watch the next video. Good night. Alrighty, we're jumping into this window here, and first step is to cut the uh, step up there. Great time to say subscribe to the channel and make me money. There's a little bit more. Hey, there's some more in here. What do you got? Thank you, Todd. 